Hi and welcome to Our Small Table. Today we're making pumpkin sloppy joes. Here's our finished product. It's very quick to get to, very little hands-on time, so let's see how we got here. I've already browned the ground beef and onion because there's such a volume problem when I'm working on the stove and drained it. We're going to be adding the ketchup, tomato juice, the spices, and then I'm going to mention a few things about the ground beef and the onion. When you get the tomato juice, it's a big help to get a six pack of these small cans instead of one large one because most small households don't really go through it all that often. And so you end up having tomato juice that you have to throw away. We mix this together. And stir in our canned pumpkin. And of course, this is canned pumpkin, not canned pumpkin pie filling. If you have actual pumpkins, you can use fresh pumpkin. And I'm working on a recipe to use up the remainder of the can. Okay, we're going to reduce the heat down to about medium-low. Get these edges nicely combined. And cover. And simmer for about 15 or 20 minutes. Go ahead and set the timer. Now, when it comes to ground beef, it's obviously sold in larger packages than I need at any one time for a two-person household. So when purchasing ground beef, I always bring it home, portion it using my kitchen scale, to one quarter pound portions, put those separately into freezer zip-top bags, put those into a larger freezer zip-top bag, and stick them in the freezer. The night before I need them, I just take them out, put them in the fridge, and they can thaw overnight. As I mentioned in a previous video, when I have an onion, a white onion or a yellow onion, I chop up the whole thing and put whatever I don't need for that particular recipe into a freezer zip top bag and stick it in the freezer. That's what I've used today for the onion, is the remains of a previous onion. When this is done simmering, we're just going to serve it up on some buns, and we'll be back to see how it looks. And there you have it. We've scooped half the mixture onto a hamburger bun. The recipe makes two, as always, pumpkin sloppy joes. Thanks for joining me today on Our Small Table. The recipe we've used is linked in the video description and is also available at OurSmallTable.com. Next time, I'll be making scented rice and ba baked pumpkin, which means I'll be demonstrating how to deal with a pie pumpkin, which is also called a sugar pumpkin. Click subscribe so you don't miss out.